Greetings citizens of the United States, we are anonymous, we are all perfectly aware of the economic crisis and job shortages in this country. We are aware that many of us are still without jobs and many have had to take lesser jobs for less pay outside of our chosen professions and educational training. We sympathize with you and your families and friends in this great time of need. We support you for you are also anonymous. We are all one and the same and we are all in this together. We are all aware that our government and the corporate controlled media are lying to us about the actual number of unemployed Americans in this country. The numbers are skewed and the information that they feed to us, we the public is false. We are tired of telling them of what we need and what we have to have to keep our families and our communities together. Now is the time to show them. On April 1st through the 15th, 2012, we are asking for every citizen to mail in and to fax our resume and job applications to the White House of United States and to our state's governor's office. Whether we are unemployed, underemployed or unsatisfied in our current job placement, we are with you and are pleased to stand with you in this form of peaceful demonstration. Members of Anonymous will be hitting the streets with leaflets and posters to ensure the success of this mission. Chain emails will be sent informing every American worker to support our cause. The government will be shown that we are as mad as hell and we are not going to take it anymore. We are not listening to the lies handed to us on a paper plate, to try harder and to hang in there. Many of us have lost our jobs, our homes, our vehicles, our savings, investments and most important of all, our families due to the politicians s and banksters of this country. This was nothing more than gross and malicious negligent on their part. So, on April 1st All Fool's Day through the 15th Tax Collector's Day, we will show them the real numbers of the unemployed and hard-working Americans by mailing and faxing our job resumes and empty job applications. Be sure to write I am mad as hell on the outside of your envelopes and cover letters. We are tired of them throwing the numbers and now it is time we show them. The corrupt fear us. The honest support us, the heroic will fight with us. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Well, it's the latest attempt at regulating the Internet. Now, we saw the public outcry over SOPA, but now a SOPA-like bill is being debated in Congress. Greetings, citizens of the United States. We are anonymous. Thursday, April 26th, the United States House, in a rushed vote, passed the H.R. 3523, also known as CISPA. Dubbed the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act, it allows the United States to collect information about users of the Internet. It allows the United States to monitor all activity on the net and can be used to monitor any individual's Internet usage. This monitoring is called Deep Packet Inspection. It looks through everything that is going in and out of your computer, which is a blatant violation of our rights to privacy. Looking through your mail is a crime for a postman. These rules should apply to the Internet too. The bill's intent is to help stop cyber attacks. However, the vague wording of the bill could allow the government to use this new power to go behind privacy protection and monitor, censor, and cut off online communication. President Obama has already stated that he will veto the bill, but this is also what was said about NDAA. Together, we can stop this act. The time to take action is now. We have defeated previous attempts to censor our only platform of true honest communication, the Internet. SOPA was only the beginning. Sign petitions. Call your congressman. And kill this act in the Senate. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. CISPA. Expect us.